Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. In today's video we're looking at a new addition to my fixed blades collection. K-Bar BK23. Small fixed blade here, skeletonized. Only one, two, three, four, five, six and a half inches long. Very comparable to Ontario Rat Model 2. Model 2's got, of course, you know, this has a longer handle and rust on the blade from not a lot of use. Um, this is a great little fixed blade that I've been carrying the last few days. And I've carried it wrapped in paracord because the knot that comes off the paracord gives me that fourth finger grip that I look for. But this is a perfectly viable knife for me as is, as with the skeleton untouched here. This is um, K-Bar branded knife, about $9, $10 plus tax. For some reason on eBay, they're going closer to $15 to $20. Makes no sense. Go either to K-Bar's site or SMKW or White Mountain Knives. They're better priced there. But this is a solid little knife. It is very thick. It comes in at a quarter inch thick at least, if not a little bit more. This is kind of a bowie clip point shape here. I have three finger grip. Kind of wish it was three and a half, if not four finger. I kind of wish that there wasn't any jimping on the back because I want, when I hold it up here, thumb wants to go there. And to get the jimping, I'm really kind of pushing back and losing that three finger grip. So I kind of wish they just ditched the little thumb ramp and jimping all together. But that's just me. This is slightly hollow ground, judging from how the light hits this. This is slightly hollow ground. Comes nice and sharp out of the box, although I kind of laid the edge back just a little bit because I had time to kill and sharpening stone to try out. Um, the sheath, very cheap sheath. I mean, this is just a $10 setup here. Nothing to write home about, but it's also nothing to laugh at. This is a neck knife. You know, you can make that a necklace there and wear that around your neck. I've just been stuffing this in the pocket of my cargo pants and pull it out when I need it. But the sheath is more of a keep the blade from cutting things kind of sheath and not a hold the knife in place for you kind of sheath. So as time goes, I'm probably going to make my own leather sheath for this. We'll see. But perfectly fine sheath clicks in. I mean, that your knife isn't going to just fall out when you're walking with this. Unless maybe it's five years old now and going to just fall to pieces on you. But for about $10, you get a thick knife. And I, I love that. This thing is thick. Let's see if I can get it where the shadow's the thinnest there. This is a thick tang. It's just fantastic. The three finger thing is kind of throwing me off because I'm used to to a full four finger grip knife, but this is not a detriment to this knife in any shape or form. I actually think I'm going to like the three finger grip because this is a small knife. You don't need all four fingers to leverage. If this was a boat, a Rambo size knife, yeah, I want all four fingers and then some, but a tiny little thing like this, perfectly fine three finger grip. And let's try to get some size comparisons here so that you kind of know about what you're getting yourself into. Very similar to the Penguin. Very similar to the Ontario Knife Company Rat Model 2. Bird uh, Metal Lark 2, which is the Spyderco, um, what is it, Delica? Spyderco Delica. Very similar in size there. The blade is what is about the same as the pocket knives. It's the handle that you're saving some space and weight on. And if you're a backpacker that wants to save weight on a knife but have a durable camp knife, I think this is a good option for you. Not much I can say on this knife at the moment. I know they make a dozier fixed blade model, which looks like the K-Bar dozier folding pocket knife but fixed blade and skeletonized i might might see about getting my hands on one of those don't know just yet but 
as is. This is a brand new little knife for me. I'm loving carrying it, and I think it's going to be a standard in my pockets or close by in a pouch. So with that said, thank you for watching this video. If you have questions, comment down below. I have, I now have YouTube memberships available. 99 cents, $1.99, $4.99. No particular benefits just yet, but there are, what, what that goes to is helping to buy more gear for the channel and maybe start doing more than one video, one full-time video a week. Hopefully get like two videos a week out or more, depending on how much I start earning there, or pay the bills. So, currently I've just been buying gear when I have free free cash on the side to get stuff, but that's not all the time, so I'm trying to stretch things out a little bit, and which, if it sounds like some of these videos might be repeating themselves, I do apologize. But, I'm starting to get a few things coming in, so we're, we're going to see how things go from there. So, until the next video... I hope you found this useful, hope you found it informational, hope it helps you build your EDC to your standards, and until the next time, farewell, carry well, and a bye-bye.